Olympic athletes are highly tuned machines. To protect themselves against injury, they follow a strict warm-up exercise regime before competing in a race. The same is true of the thoroughbred racing car. In the next few minutes, we'll follow the Dawn Treader Performance Engineering team to find out what warm-up procedures are used to bring Ivan Capelli's Leighton House Formula One car to life. Judd's 1990 EV V8 engine must be preheated before it can be started. On the track, the engine operates in a very small performance envelope. At tracks like Monza, the driver will use full throttle for over 70% of a lap. As a result, the engine runs at a high but stable temperature. So, when it was designed, its components were optimised for only these running conditions. This is because different materials, aluminium for the cylinder block and the steel of the crankshaft, expand and contract by different amounts as the temperature changes. At room temperature, the engine is so tight, it's only just possible to turn over. The first step is to connect the car's water system to a preheater. This system, developed in-house by the team, uses a small petrol-powered burner to heat the water as it's pumped through the engine and cooling system. A small bleed tank ensures that any air present within the system is caught and bled off. The cylinder block of the engine must reach 60 degrees centigrade before the engine can be spun over and started. Next, the engine oil is heated. The oil is sucked out of the tank, pumped into the preheater and passed through an oil water heat exchanger. The warm water is used to heat the oil before returning it to the car's oil tank. Once the preheating process is underway, the car's electronic systems must be checked. Coupling an external jump battery ensures the car's small onboard battery is not drained before the engine is started. A period laptop must be used to communicate to the Zytec engine management system. We then check the car's fluid levels and attach the nose and front wing assembly. Once the engine has reached operating temperature, the preheater is powered down, disconnected, and the external starter is engaged. Before the engine is spun over to generate oil pressure, it's bumped. This ensures that any engine oil that is drained into the crankcase is evacuated without damaging the delicate scavenge pump drives. With the fuel pumps and ignition now switched on, the engine is brought to life. The engine is initially held for a couple of minutes at around 4,000 RPM, just above the idle speed to ensure the alternator is charging the car's battery. Once the temperature has reached 80 degrees centigrade, both the idle speed and pickup response are checked. V8 engines of similar configuration to the EV are known to suffer torsional vibration at certain engine speeds. Allowing the engine to sit at or around these speeds may do it damage, so it's blipped to transition through the lower rev range. Warming up in this way ensures the vibration can never get properly started. Once the water temperature has reached 90 degrees centigrade, it's switched off and the car readied for the track.